if we have a problem with our action items after retrospective and we are not completing them, my biggest realization so far is that it's actually not the team member's fault. It's just we phrase the action items too vague or it's outside of our area of control. So we actually need to go back to the facilitation of these action items and figure out how can we make sure that this is something that we can in fact do something about ourselves in the team and if it's not what can we then do about it to relieve some of this stress and, uh, and that is it is causing in the team and if we are not following through then I always look at myself to see how can I help the team and that's often in facilitating better discussions and better dialogues at the at the retrospective to make sure that we agree upon specifically what are the signs of a fo uh, solved focus point, but also making sure that it's something we can do and not the manager or another team. Sometimes a symptom of some hidden problem may appear as the team not following on the action items. So I would say first understand the root cause and then act accordingly. For example, when you visit a doctor with some fever, the doctor would definitely ask for some complete diagnosis if he has any doubt. Who knows the diagnosis could reveal some other hidden problem in the body, right? So few things I would definitely try are making the action items visible in the team space so that they can see them daily and thus they get reminded of their own promises. And discuss with the team what help they need to work on the action items. Maybe they have too many things to work, help them prioritize the action items, ask them to pick just one or two. Also discussing the impact of working on the previous sprint action items before the start of every sprint reinforces the team's belief system on the value of working on the retrospective outcomes. I get curious. I get curious about why that might be. Um, sometimes it's because they are under so much pressure to deliver that they simply don't have time to, to learn, to do experiments, to try out new things. Um, so it could be that. Um, it could be that they've chosen an, an, an action that's huge and they just, you know, they just can't break it down in the course of an iteration. So I, I try to get people to do um, small, small things, especially at first, and only one thing, so that they actually have a chance of succeeding. Um, sometimes it's because um, people have, have grown to feel helpless. You know, or they choose something that's utterly outside their control. So I try to get people to choose things that are in their control, that they can actually change. And eventually people realize that they actually can make significant difference working on small things within their control. And then they gain a little more sense of agency and they can take on bigger issues. But I get curious about why that is. And then based on what I find out, that tells me what I'm going to do.